Hi guys, welcome back out to the channel. Hey, I wanted to take a minute to thank all the new subscribers this month. I really appreciate your support. Many of us have been self-isolating these last few weeks and this isolation can start to cause feelings of feeling pent up, anxious, irritable. I remember this sensation growing up in rural Minnesota and a winter, we used to call it cabin fever. You've probably heard the term liver cheese stagnation and cabin fever is the perfect representation of what liver cheese stagnation is. Cabin fever is about the liver being blocked and not being able to come forth, not, be able, not being able to go outside. And those of you who have small kids, I bet you're getting really familiar with this emotion. Cabin fever is about a sudden surge in liver energy. It's just like a flood where too much rain or too much snow melt overwhelms the existing rivers and, and streams and it just floods or overflows into the surrounding areas. In a perfect world, we'd be able to immediately expand and strengthen the existing pathways to handle this overflow. And that's what we're going to do with the body. We're going to expand and strengthen the heart and the stomach channel to handle the excess liver energy. How we're going to do it is we're going to blend a drink, just like if we were blending a Chinese herbal formula. So let's get started. The first selection is going to be the key food or herb that you're going to use to define what you're trying to accomplish in this formula. My key focus is going to be tonifying the stomach. So I'm going to use white misu as my base. And this base does have soybeans in it. So I know that many of you are not able to use misu. And if that's how it is, don't worry. Why don't you make a gruel out of barley and use that as your base? The great thing about misu and barley is they both have some similar functions. They're both cooling and both of them help relieve the restlessness that you're experiencing. So that's the key ingredient. The next thing that we're going to do is pick the supporting ingredients. And here's where I pick seeds that come from Chinese herbs. And not only are they considered seeds that are used in Chinese herbology, but they're also considered a food. So the two that I chose were lotus seeds. And then I also chose jujubes or Chinese date. And I chose one more thing that is a very nutritious food and that's the medjool date. Lotus seeds are called lianza in Chinese medicine and you can order these online or you can pick them up at an Asian market. They're usually dried so you'll either need to soak them or boil them in order to eat them and they are super de delicious. We were talking about the heart and the stomach channel, that those were the two organs that we wanted to support. Well, Lianza in Chinese medicine supports and strengthens the heart channel. And the research shows that it's the glycosides in Lianza or in lotus seed, which does that. But that's not all it does. If we look at some of the other research, you can see that the alkaloids increase the production of GABA in the brain, which is what helps calm and sedate the mind. So which helps with the restlessness. This would be a seed that they would use in Chinese medicine if somebody had restless irritability and anxiety with, uh, with noticing their heartbeat. And it has one other unique function to it. It has the ability to address chronic diarrhea. So it also helps strengthen the spleen channel as that usually comes from weakness in the spleen channel. And besides lotus seeds, I'm going to use Chinese dates, which are also called jujubes or in Chinese medicine, they're called daxiao. And these precious dates are filled with antioxidants, which help improve your digestion and help reduce your anxiety. The one thing that keep in mind with this one, although it's considered a food and it's eaten as food, if you eat too much of this one, you will get bloating, indigestion, 
diarrhea, you're not going to be happy. So maybe keep it to about two to four, two to six of these. The last supporting food is medjool dates. And I pick these, they're like all dates, they are incredibly nutritious. But the key reason why I pick these is they're a really sweet date. And in Chinese medicine, the flavor sweet is one of the things that we use to relax the liver. So when you're feeling really pent up, a lot of times people will reach for a candy bar instead of that, because there's all sorts of negative issues that come with eating a candy bar. Instead of that, try these medjool dates. They're super sweet. And then after the medjool dates, there was one more food that I chose, and that was an onion. And I chose the onion mainly because it's pungent. So it really helps move chi. It almost like pushes chi to move and it gets rid of what Chinese medicine calls phlegm. So those are the foods that we're going to use. Let's combine them and let's make our mystery drink. Okay. So you've got all your ingredients. Let's take them all. Let's cut them all up. Now the dates, both the medjool dates and the jujubes or the Chinese dates have seeds in them. But the jujubes are just so small that I'm just going to leave the seeds in them and remember that when I eat them. I'm going to put all the ingredients except the misu into a pot and boil it for about 10 minutes in order to get those lotus seeds really, really soft and edible. And in order to take all the flavor and all the nutrition and get it really saturated in that water. And then what I'm going to do is after it's done boiling, I'm going to let it cool off and then I'm going to add in the misu. And why I'm going to wait until after it's boiled and after it's cooled off is because misu should not be boiled. So after everything's done and you've got warm water, take your tablespoon of misu and mix it in there until it dissolves. And then you have your drink. Okay, thanks you guys. And until next time, I'll catch you on the other side.